Say, do you love horses? Well, Tennessee may be famous for its walking horses, but there are many other interesting breeds here too, like, well, Arabians and Frisians. Never seen a Frisian? Well, you're about to on a farm in Auburn Town with Teresa Bush. All right, girls, let's trot. Riska. Come on, let's move. Deb Davis loves to show off her horses. On this day, our crew got a very special treat. Both had just had a baby. If you think these horses are like all of the other horses, think again. These magnificent mares are a breed of horses called Frisians. They're named after a province in the Netherlands, Friesland. They've just started playing together um, just about a week ago. More biting than playing. Good boys. Isn't that cute? I've always loved the breed. I think the first time I saw a Frisian was in the movie Lady Hawk with Matthew Broderick. I think that came out in the early 80s and uh, had a beautiful st uh, stallion in that movie. After that, you know, just, just a dream horse, you know, just a fantasy to maybe possibly have one. So it's, it's a dream come true. Deb got her first dream horse in 2003, straight from the Netherlands. Come on, Balkabeen. She admits it was not an easy task, right. talking her husband into making such a big commitment. After all, he said they'd already had three horses, but Deb was determined to give it a try. We started off uh, with a mare with a purpose of her to breed. Um, she was already pregnant and had a colt by her side. So we got a three-in-one package and sold the colt. And I think at that point, my husband saw the opportunity in, in breeding. <laughs> it's a tricky business, from the artificial insemination to the registration process. That decision lies in the hands of an organization based in the Netherlands, and they're very picky especially about the horses that are born in the United States. Ricky, good boy! Deb says she's hopeful that Ricky will be her first stallion to get such recognition. Yeah! That's it, come on! Frisians have a lot of very distinct characteristics. Breeders like Deb, she can spot one from a mile away, but it's a little more difficult for regular folks like me and maybe even some of you. But the next time you see a horse, take a look at its feet. If they have what's called a feathered foot, chances are it could be a Frisian. Owners typically don't trim the so-called feathers around the horse's feet, nor do they trim their manes. All Frisians are black. You'll see a few every now and then with a white star on their forehead. And finally, another very interesting trait, the horse's coat. It's the lay of the hair. You can see this hair goes this way. It's like velvet, you know, it's crushed velvet where you see it will lay different directions. Um, but she has more of that, the, I don't know what you call it. Just the, it's just the lay of her hair. The swirls, I think they yeah, call it. Yeah, it's know. pretty. Soon after Deb began breeding Frisian, she realized horse owners needed a place to rest and exercise their horses. And of course, the owners needed a place to rest their heads too. There was a guest house. My, my husband actually brought home a tool shed from Opryland. He did some work over there and then added on a bathroom and a bedroom. Of course, I'll take everybody in that, that, that wants to board here. I can do a few. We have um, eight boarders right now. We have a place to ride. We have trails through the woods um, on this side of the street. We have 80 acres in the back that are wooded trails. And dead end street, they can ride really anywhere they want to in the hay fields or wherever. We have the guest house for travelers coming through, uh, can spend the night with their horses. We have a guest paddock just for the horses that's right next to the house and um, stay, you know, a night or a weekend. We've had some people just come in to stay for the weekend and ride. What is it about them that was just so attractive to you, Deb? Just their, well, their movement, their, of course, their looks, you know, just the way they're built. It's just storybook, you know, long hair, beautiful feathers is what you call the hair around the, the, the feet, but, and just their proud stature. Just everything about them, really. For a woman who grew up in the city unable to own a horse, Deb has certainly made up for lost time. 
and Foothills Frisians is making its mark in the breeding world. Good thing that's not a clean saddle pad. One little baby at a time. I never thought I'd have horses, especially Parisians. Come on. Thank you.